Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. Good evening and thank you for joining us. As the Lloydminster RCMP continue to investigate reports of pills being found in some Halloween candy over the weekend, Bonneville RCMP are looking into complaints themselves. Police say they've received reports of a white pill with the letters APO on one side that may have been stuffed inside a chewy, fruity type of candy similar to Starburst. Officials are asking residents not to be alarmed, but they are cautioning parents to be diligent when checking over their children's candy before they are consumed. Understanding and forecasting market trends is just one of the issues facing rain producers as we look forward to 2016. ADM is putting on its farm showcase next Monday at the Vic Juba Community Theatre. One of the presenters will be discussing a growing trend in the canola industry. I am going to be talking about canola and about the implications for a new growing and I believe a very stable, will be stable, trend called clean label. Kelly Fitzpatrick says clean label refers to the desire for consumers to purchase foods which are as natural as possible. When they turn over the label on a food product and they look at the ingredient list, they understand the ingredients within the food. Now, ADM's Farm Showcase is free to producers. However, you will need to register for tickets online at adm.com slash Lloydminster. Welcome back. As December approaches, a season of giving comes with it. But this year, as a result of the economy, more families are in need of help than usual. Now, the staff at the local optometry office decided to do something about it with a donation to the Salvation Army. For the last four years, Violet Eyes Optometry has chosen a local charity to support. This year, they found inspiration in a Facebook post. This year, we saw the social media post with the empty shelves at the Salvation Army Food Bank, so we decided that that was the perfect place for it to go, especially with it being such a hard year for everybody. The $3,000 donation comes from a portion of the profits from Violet Eyes' grand opening sale. Shannon Weinberger with the Lloydminster Salvation Army says the money will go a long way. Donations like this will go towards whether it's food for the food bank, Christmas hampers, other programming to help other families in need in town. Weinberger says they've had to start asking for donations early this year because of increased demand for their services. Lately we are getting an average of one new family every day right now that have never had to use the food bank that are, when they come in and they're talking to me, they're telling me they're usually the ones bringing donations in. Well, Weinberger adds $3,000 is a great boost, but they're always accepting more donations. 